I'm up now. What do you want? I gotta get ready for work. You got an extra washcloth for Thomas when we're in here? Check the closet behind the door in the bathroom. What's wrong with you? What's with the attitude? Let me guess, you're not a morning person, huh? William, what are you talking about? I mean, you're acting different. Different? It's 6.30 in the morning and you trying to hold a press conference? I'm sorry, but I'm tired. Is he serious? It's too early for this. Last night was too much for you, huh? Yeah, I know. I shut it down. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Mm hmm You caught me right off guard. I didn't know you had that in you. Yep. You the man. Well, guess what? If you a good girl, there's more where that came from. Oh, really? There's more? What? There's always more. Let me go get ahead and get in the shower before I'm late to work. Wouldn't want that to happen now, would we? Dear Miles, that was 15 minutes of my life that I can never get back. I could have read a Zane novel and gotten the same effect. Another one added to the list. What am I on, number six? Wait, that was number seven. Hmm. Am I home? No, I'm not a hoe. You figure at 27, a man would know how to please a woman before he pleases himself, but apparently not. You would think a physical trainer would put in some work, but it's obvious overtime isn't his forte. I hope his exit is as speedy as his performance. Ugh. He wants to take a shower and use my hot water? You've got to earn free water up in here. What am I doing with my life? I moved up to the Big Apple with a plan to live out my dreams, but instead I've fallen off track. Tomorrow's a new day. It's time to reevaluate things. Six floor, wouldn't you? Well, look, okay, it was the only one that I found that was realistically in my budget, okay? So it's not that bad, we're almost done. We? We? Big boy can carry a bag, a box, more beverage, for us at least. So if you wasn't my best friend, Reagan, I'd have definitely blew you off. You know, I'd be doing so much things on Saturday, like get ready for a date. Oh, Sound like that. Ryan, please. Like <laughs> for you, okay? Once I play, you know, my name ring bells. <laughs> I had to ask about me. Oh, I'm going to assume you're joking because you can't be sitting tired. Oh, don't even entertain him, okay? Look, my roommate just texted me. She just got here. Don't be on her heels, okay? This is a new start, a new apartment, and I want to keep a peaceful environment, okay? I don't need 604 turning into the Heartbreak Hotel. Don't be up and out face with your corny Mac Daddy 1993 lines either. What? Oh, corny Mac Daddy. Mm -hmm. We both know in 1993 my lines were ain't plus material. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm offended. Seriously, you already know. Only times get my time. Besides, I could have you back in the day when you was all up on uh, Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. Brandon, all up in that. I look at you. Sixth floor. All scared of you. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I cry myself to sleep every night over the fact that I let you slip away. Man, Ryan, right, if you don't go ahead, like I well, said, stay in your lane. This is my oh, roommate. Oh, yeah. Wait, oh, oh, yet. And she putting up caution tape. For all we know, she could look like that. Hey, you guys need help with anything? Um, um, no. These two have it covered. Oh, okay. Um, Troy, these are my good friends, Clint and Ryan. How you doing? Clint and Ryan. How you doing, Clint? 
Cool. So how do you guys all know each other? Well, we all met in college, and the rest is history. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I uh, had to do my civil duty when I first met these two. I had so much pity for them, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's not what the people can do for Ryan. But what Ryan can do for the people. We met in college, like our freshman year. Okay, well, I hope no one ate yet because I was planning to have a few friends over for dinner and I was not figuring you guys could just join. Did you? I heard it. She said that. I, that, that <laughs> that's the word I heard. Okay, check it out. See, now when men go out on a date, maybe we'll get like a haircut, buy a little outfit, and that's it. But y'all, on the other hand, y'all send our representatives when y'all go out on a date. That's because you guys have unreal standards. Unreal. Look, you want a girl that's drop dead gorgeous, has a degree, a career, and great in bed. Then when it's time to take it to the next level, we gotta have all of your kids and maintain a perfect weight so you don't run off with the next female or male that comes along. Oh, 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 uh, so, how does your um, girlfriend feel about you visiting the doorsteps of random women? Well, if I had a girlfriend, it might be a problem. But since I don't... Oh, well, lucky for you, I only make things my business when I'm interested in them. So you're interested?